I can actually say that you've really done it this time. I mean, I couldn't even entice him to run away to Tahiti with me. Now, wait a minute here. Are you going to invite me? Oh, uh, don't mind me. I just, I just live here. <laughs> well, it's a good thing for the rest of womankind that Jagger is not the only fish in the sea. That's mm -hmm. comforting. It should be. <laughs> I, for one, have promised myself that I will never, ever settle for someone who's settling for me. Well, good. You shouldn't have to. I know. You know, the guy that I'm going to be with is going to love me more than anything in the world. And he's going to only want to be with me. And he's going to be willing to give up anything to put me first. Definitely doesn't sound like anyone in this room, does it? Uh -huh. Sounds like a psycho killer. Oh, thing. very funny. Very All right, you guys. Funny. I got to go. I got to go pick up my letter oh. from Dr. Quartermate. So I'm, I'll be back later, okay, Ruby? Yeah. And um, I will see you here later. Is that okay? Okay. Thank you. Oh, bye. Bye. Do you think Karen can patch things up with her mother before the wedding? She'll regret it if she doesn't. I guess I'm going to have to do something to get through Rhonda after all. <laughs> You're not grounded anymore. No, I'm grounded, but my Uncle Matt went me off the leash for this afternoon. Big whoop, huh? <laughs> Congratulations. Where's Jagger? Oh, he went to go visit his future mother-in-law. Doesn't that sound bizarre? <laughs> it is pretty strange, huh? Well, I think it's exciting. Oh, Robin's just all stoked because Karen asked her to be in the wedding. She already has about a dozen bridesmaids' dresses in her closet. I know, but this one's very special. I mean, Karen only asks one attendant, and it's me. I know what you mean. I'm Jagger's best man. Well, maybe this thing will be some fun after all. Oh, great. Great! Another cute couple. Happily ever after stuff is really getting boring. <sighs> I actually haven't even had a chance to think about the wedding. There's so much going on work-wise. Did you get a new job? No, but there's major happenings with the job I have. What, like a promotion? Things are getting big time for us, that's all. What, like a secret or something? I'm sure he'll tell us when the time is right. Right? Yeah. Maybe. goes on. Are you eating alone? I'd rather not. Then you don't mind? We don't have a choice. Like moths to a flame. A teen bolt? And what? And that new job you're talking about. Is Sonny involved? I work with him. Of course he's involved. Why? Well, then it's probably trouble. I mean, it's probably dangerous. And that bothers you? Well, sure it does. Well, thanks, but I wouldn't worry about it. So your friend disapproves? Oh, uh, Robin's kind of like a little sister to me. She's, she's a little naive, but she's, she's really a good kid. I don't know, maybe you should listen to her opinions. <laughs> About you? I don't think so. You don't want to get mixed up with a guy like me. Sonny, I thought you wanted me to draw my own conclusions. Uh, based on what I see and how I'm treated, right? I like being quoted back to myself. So when do I get that rain check on dinner? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, there's something to be said in taking things slowly, right? In certain circumstances. I have found that men who rush things with me tend to not have the stamina to keep up with me. I remember that. And there's still so many things about you that I haven't figured out yet. I'm an open book. <laughs> oh, right. What? You? Yeah, right. What do you want to know? Are you going to react when I tell you that J 
Jagger and Karen are getting married next Saturday. Where do we send the gift? That's it. What do you, what do you want me to do? Cut my wrists right here in this pleasant little family establishment? Come on, Sonny. I know you feel something about Karen getting married. She deserves all the happiness she gets. We all do. Even you? Especially me. You got any ideas? I can't believe you're being so blasé about this. Right, and you're so hung up on Karen and Jagger and their plans. <clears throat> you do yourself a disservice. No, I am not jealous. Not the way you think. I'm, mm. I'm a little envious of what they have, that's all. And what do they have? I don't know how to put it into words. Exactly. They don't need words. They have a look, a smile, a touch. They're connected to each other right here. A connection we all dream about, right? It's on a whole other level. Cosmic, if you believe in that stuff. Soulmates. It takes your breath away, and at the same time, it makes you complete. It's a strange thing, this connection. And it can be terrifying. So they say. Settle for nothing less. I want you to promise me that. Say. I promise. That's my girl. Are you toying with me? No, I don't play that. I don't play that game. Life's too short. I gotta go. Wait, wait, where are you going? I'll drive you home. You need a ride? No, thank you. I have my car. I'm picking up my new one next week. Oh, yeah? So what did you finally decide on? It's a surprise. I hate surprises, okay? So give me a hint. What color is it? Red. Convertible? You bought my sports car? You know, you little ah, vixen. Ah, what can I say? There was this great, great salesman there. Oh, yeah? What, what did he pitch? Uh, he said something like, I've never seen a brunette in a red sports car. I didn't want to know better. No, I, I believe it was, he's never seen a, a beautiful brunette in a red oh, sports yeah, car. Oh, yeah, right. Well, whatever. <laughs> I fell for it, though. Right, right. Now look who's messing with who. I'll see you, Sonny. I don't doubt that.